Hi guys, welcome back to Ask Cam Doc. My name is Shane and I'm finally a medical student and neuroscience supervisor at the University of Cambridge. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to take the perfect history. So, when you're taking a history, one of the most important things to establish is the history of presenting complaints. There are loads of different strategies to do this. One that we've been taught is of course Socrates and often that's applied to pain. But today I'm going to be teaching you essentially what's a lot more logical, what's, what you can apply to a lot more presenting complaints, and essentially it's a lot more detailed than Socrates. And it's basically a 3x3 three three matrix. So this 3x3 three three matrix consists of the top line, a middle line, and a bottom line. So the top line consists of sight, sort, and severity. The middle line consists of onset, duration and progression. And the last and final line consists of associated factors, exacerbating factors and alleviating factors. Now we're going to take each of these in turn and explain how you might ask a question in relation to a presenting complaint. So the first line involves sight, sort and severity. So let's take sight for example and say we have a presenting complaint, someone comes in and says oh I have pain. You want to establish where the pain is, so you ask them whereabouts is it. So that's sight. Then you might move on and ask about sort. So that's essentially describe the pain. Is it a dull pain? Is it a stabbing pain? Is it deep? Is it superficial? Does it move anywhere? Etc. So that's sort covered. The third component of the top line is severity. So how bad is the pain from the scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being the worst pain that you've experienced? So that's the top line. That brings us on to the middle line. So the middle line starts off with onset. So when did the presenting complaint begin? And also how quickly did it come along? Did it come on quite gradually or did it just come on very suddenly? So that would be onset. Then you might ask about duration. So how long has, it, has this been going on? And when it comes, how long does it last? Does it last for several seconds, several minutes, several hours, days, etc.? And that would be duration. And then you might end the middle line by asking about progression. So is it getting better? Is it getting worse? Etc. So the last line consists of associated symptoms, exacerbating factors and alleviating factors. So let's begin with the associated factors. Are there any symptoms that are going alongside the main presenting complaint? So for example, if you have some tummy ache, do you have any associated vomiting or do you have any associated changes in your bowel, etc. Then you might go on to ask about are there any exacerbating factors or anything that makes it worse? So that could be position, that can be um, anything else that they do eat, etc. that makes it worse. And finally, you might end by asking about the alleviating factors. So for example, have they tried any medications? Have they tried different positions, lying, lying differently, either forward, backwards, etc. And does that make it better? Okay, so that's essentially been a three by three matrix that's just a lot more logical, a lot simpler and a lot more comprehensive than the Socrates. And you can also apply it to many, many more presenting complaints other than just pain. For example, you can even apply it to cough and you might ask things like how, for example, severity, how, I mean, how bad is the cough and things like sort, you know, is it a productive cough? Uh, what does it sound like, etc. And this is a system that I've been using since fourth year and it's been fantastic, especially when I have a mind blank, when I'm taking history, I just go back to this matrix and then I basically fill in the questions that I haven't asked yet and basically gives me a, a bit more time to think about the targeted and focused questions that I'm going to ask next when I probe in a little bit deeper. It's a very good matrix to commit to your memory and it will ensure that you don't miss anything and it will also help you to basically full time as you think about the more targeted and focused questions. Um, and yeah, I can't recommend this enough and hopefully you guys are going to find this very useful. And if you have, please like, follow and share. Make sure as many medical students as possible finds out about, about what we're doing. And uh, that's it from me, from me for today and I'll see you guys next time.